two of these and they're $33.12. They thrive too in the shade or you could even um, or part shade, but they're this gorgeous green texture. And you know what's interesting, Barb, is we have the bleeding hearts and we also have this Japanese painted fern. It's not it's kind of challenging sometimes to find a plant that can thrive in the shade or the part shade, but that also is going to give us this degree and this depth of color and texture and dimension in this greenery shipping to you for free. It's $33 and 12 cents. It's the first day at this price and the five easy payments do go away at the end of the day today. Now we started with 2000 for the season. We have fewer than 300 to go around and that's it. Tell me all about this fern. Oh, Allie, I get so excited when I am talking about this fern. If anyone loves the bleeding heart because of the color, you're going to love adding this fern to the same type of shady areas where it's going to give you this texture, this ruffly, fluffy texture. It reminds me of Peter Rabbit hopping through the forest. But the color alley in this fern is unbelievable. It will draw your eye right to these areas. I love unusual, but easy to grow. And this is one of those ferns that has the most unusual, like purpley, silvery color to the leaf. Then deep in the vein of the leaf, I noticed like almost a raspberry pink lavender color. This color combination on this fern is amazing. And it's the type of plant that it's like one and done. You're mm. going to plant this in a shady area and then you're not going to ever have to worry about this plant again. Year after year, it's going to come back reliably. It's low maintenance and fabulous. I see, this is, it's so smart. Because maybe, you know, so many people are kind of redesigning like their patio or their deck, right? Well, now you've got a lot of landscaping to fill. What do you do? This is such a great way because of the size that it's going to fill the texture. And it's going to bring a unique color that you do not have with these Japanese painted fern live plants. $33.12 for the set of two. Free shipping and handling. Right, so a really great way to get these home. They're perennials, they work great, yes, in containers, um, even in the ground or borders. Now, Barb, would you suggest if we're doing containers, if we live in a climate that gets a little colder in the winter, would we wanna bring them in or what's your suggestion? So these are pretty darn hardy. They're going to take temperatures of a negative 40. What? Uh, that's pretty cold, I know. And then they will do well in warmer areas like down to Georgia, across the Sun Belt, through Texas. So this is an amazing plant that's going to withstand all kinds of temperatures from the really, really cold to those southern climates like Georgia. Mm. That That's one of those amazing things about this plant. And then the fact that it comes back just beautifully mm -hmm. year after year. Also, Allie, this is one of those plants that the deer and the rabbits They'll look marvelous in front of them taking photos if you'd like, but they're not going to be <laughs> They're not interested. Them. Oh, good. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, I learned that the hard way. My first house, I, I apparently grabbed the plants that the deer and the rabbit loved and were actually oh. attracted to. Whoops. Yeah, they had <laughs> lovely snacks, but, you know, my kids did love seeing the animals so that was okay <laughs> that was the consolation prize of it all but yeah if that's an issue where you are think about these it's a two-piece japanese painted fern live plant in a container in the ground hardy and also correct me if i'm wrong barb but when i hear you say like those kind of extreme temperatures you know i'm thinking okay i've got family a, where i live to in between minnesota illinois you know, uh, Louisiana, Florida, these are one of sure. those plants that can like work with everybody, which also means for me, they're pretty goof proof. They are definitely goof proof. I do say if you're putting them in a container and you're hitting those really low temperatures, sure. it wouldn't hurt to protect them and put some leaves or uh, mulch around or a burlap 
yeah. bag around them. But they are going to take those temperatures, if they're in the ground, of negative 40 without any problem. And then they'll take the heat of like Georgia, Texas. Wow. And they are such an unusual plant that mm -hmm. adds texture. A lot of times I forget about how something that's just a fern can make everything else look absolutely magical. And it's a different level too, because these are going to be 12 to 18 inches tall. So sure. definitely getting in those lower areas mm -hmm. with something of interest like this. I get goosebumps just talking about the magic of this fern, the color of it, that lavender leaf with that silvery uh, coloring in it, and then the vein that goes up the center. Let me see if I can show you somewhere here. This vein that goes up the center gets that purpley pink look to it. I also like to take a few clippings of this and even if you were getting a bunch of chrysanthemums from the supermarket making a flower arrangement, you add a leaf like this to it, and it is going to be a showstopper centerpiece looking yeah, so unusual. Yeah, that's a great idea. Well, if, you, if you're missing out on kind of filling the, the width, because these will grow wider too, like Barbara said, make sure you get these home. It's the first day at this low price of $33.12. Plus, you've got free shipping and handling. And this one, that five easy payments of $6.62. At the end of the day, it's skedaddling. Yeah, it's walking away. It's M71391 for our Japanese painted fern live plants. I love that unique color as well. Speaking of color, look at these yarrows. Okay, it's a rainbow yarrow. You get a three